Are you still here? We're done here. Fine by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? That's not important right now. But he did have some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. I don't know. Maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. No. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. There's another choice. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Mm -hmm. Let's go to... Let's go to Holly first. I'll go to the Trip Trap, see about Lily's things. Uh, I think that's our best option. Sounds good. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Okay, well, she can find out what he's doing by herself. Good thing I didn't tell her, because maybe she'll find out from him. <laughs> All right, 15 a.m. 45 minutes left. Due to what? Oh, I'm tired. Due to. Oh, I still can't sleep, you says. fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know, what happened? We know what happened. Or how it happened. How would she want to hear that? Well, can I. Can you what? Can I just. I don't know. Wait here for a bit? Until she wakes up. Then? <laughs> what do I care? Guys, open up. It's the sheriff. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Hi, Woody. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you... It was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there okay, was no good. sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. I changed Don't my mind soil already. yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Get back to jail. And if he doesn't, he can take it up with the missus later. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. You're well, good, Woody. come on in, You're good, Woody. buddy. <laughs> You're good, Woody. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Right? I mean, you must not be feeling too good after that shit show. Yeah, I'll only be here two minutes. Just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry about the arm. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. You should quit while you're ahead with that stuff. I might need your help. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. 
And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Um, can we stop him? Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. <laughs> and I feel like having a drink, okay? There's no way to wake her up. Oh, uh, no. Anyways, the doctor gave me strict orders to let the fine woman sleep. She's had a very traumatic experience. The music stopped. I don't like that. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. Not gonna hurt anybody. And then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. Just make friends. Have a drink. To the dead. Oh, God. It's not poison, is it? All Hold right, up. Now help me. He didn't just poison me, did he? Gren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything. <laughs> Yo, my headphones are way too loud. That scared me. <laughs> I I can't do anything about it. It's done. Alright, calm down. Please stop. Stop, 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 stop. Please, stop. What more do you want? What's what else problem? can I Cut fucking say I don't want anything from you, Woody. I want there to be a big black hole where your fat, dumb fucking ass used to be. What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. He thinks you have to pay chicks to touch your fat, hairy ass. That's what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them, and Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Yeah. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Bigby, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. 
Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. <laughs> he won't remember this? Oh, my lord. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, she's still in her troll form. Her to wake up in a rage so <laughs> look at her heels But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. She high as hell off that medication. Alright, what's this? Bottle of wine. Let's say D. Damino? Damino? Do you even give a shit about us? Of course! The strays. The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. Look at this dude in the back. <sighs> Why do you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't. <laughs> But I did say sorry, though. I mean, I'm, I am on an investigation looking for a lead, but at least I got to apologize. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. Getting your glamour on this day. One of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. <clears throat> All right, let's get to it. Be 
Higby! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, How I know. Why would you say his name so loud like that? This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? They could literally hear you say Bigby in the hallway and be like, oh shit, Bigby's here? Let's run. All right. Um, let's listen for anything. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Sorry about Good thing that. I didn't kick the door in. Is something wrong? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> okay. Sharp kid. <laughs> who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so we're not strangers. I'm Bigby. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? I'm not allowed to let people in. Is your mother at home, currently? I don't need a babysitter. I can cook dinner all by myself. Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. I'll let Snow talk come back in the morning. Snow, can you just do something here? I, <laughs> I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? These people? <laughs> what? <laughs> do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. <laughs> really? She is so cute with those big old eyes. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. All right. So, look at the tree first. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um... Like glamours? The tree of life? Not here. There's no one here but me. Hmm. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Okay. Deer school. Your mama hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. The music is a little ominous. Is that your mom? Uh-huh. What's her name? Record player? Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. <laughs> no accounting for taste. Okay, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? No one's here? been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. She seems a little impatient. I hope you're not hiding anything from me. Yeah, nothing, 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 nothing. Where do you buy your here. clothes? At a store. I didn't want it to cut her off. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Well, let me finish looking. Rachel, what's this other option? Close I saw door. a spider over there yesterday. Oh? It was a pretty one. How much longer do you think it'll be? Alright, let's go over here.
Deliver to Auntie Greenie. A butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Let me let me mess around with it. Oh no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. You don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Just put it back exactly where it was, please. I'm not gonna break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. Oh, he did it! <laughs> Oh, word? It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. <laughs> what? Is that good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. Please, Crane, <laughs> just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we wow. care about. Wow. Snow. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. There's nothing I know to murder. help. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. Her glasses don't have that the thing like Rookie's. That not tell you anything. They're just sitting there. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends are you for enemies. If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. No There's one's telling me nothing. Beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, you have to forget it. This is more important. We can protect you. Is it? We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? No. Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. What do you think We're about destroying Snow? the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please, don't do this. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? 
That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. <laughs> Snow Bigby, is spicy. This is an order. Burn the tree. No, look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Okay. okay. Green was here. Uh -huh. He was here, and he left. Uh huh. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Oh my god! Please, Sheriff. Okay, well, I guess I see where I stand with you. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. I didn't know what to say. 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 <laughs> I think that witch might be useful. So I'm gonna keep her, I'm gonna let her keep her little tree. That's Crane's car. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. They look serious. Where's Crane punching him? I don't know. Where's what. Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know. I heard he was here. Now. Who's that? You're you're lying. Yeah, get out the way. Hey, you can't just go in there. Yes, I can. I'm the we sheriff. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I... You both know what's going on. Just tell me. Crane, get away from her. Hello. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going Wait, on. And what? this whole thing will be over. That's Spell. all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. It's just, just let me show you. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No, this will work. So it's a I'm sure you it, it must. I went to you. Damn you, come on, please. No, 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 no. Tell me who killed her. My no. lips are sealed. So it's a spell, the, the reason why no one's talking. How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God. What happened to you? Were you always like this? Not always. It started as most things do, very, very small. Nothing more than a thought. But I didn't kill that woman. That has to be so creepy Vicky. and awkward. <laughs> I don't think he did it. What? I don't think he did either. Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward. I think he's just freaky. Murder. Right, exactly. I, I think he's just freaky. It means so much to... Shut up. Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. What do you mean? You don't think he did it at all? If you'd seen the room 
I don't need to see the room. Somebody else There's did. a lot he has to answer for. There's a lot we all have to answer for. This is different, Snow, and you know it. You said you found evidence of him defrauding Fabletown, of using our money for his own <sighs> ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? He thought he was being framed. And maybe he I is. I don't think he's the Fuck murderer. Up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? We'll find out for sure. I don't know. You know when this I saw is you bigger come than back Crane. Here, We're gonna this find was out, over. dude. We'll find out who did it We're soon. We'll find enough. out. Just trust us, Vivian. Because I kind of have an idea. I for any of this to get so. You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Okay, Snow. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses, but as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. Because if it was up to me, I'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Yeah. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. I didn't enough. think he would say that. I didn't think... Come on now. This can't be Greenleaf again and again. I'm not He's trying to be like that. like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader. Starting now. <sighs> you think you have what it takes to run that office? You think <sighs> I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. Break his nose. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, so be it. I have no regrets. Yeah, see, the thing of it is, we're better at this than you are. This is good. <laughs> This is so intense. Go ahead. They're not gonna cuff him? Cause she said he was under arrest, so. Is this the end of the episode? It's probably damn near. Stupid girls and preposterous schemes. What are you saying? Oh? Who's this? Is it one of the Tweedles? Or is it the Tweedles? Okay, I see the Tweedles. Is this Bluebeard? Who the hell Hi. is this? What you got there? Is that the witch? Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. 
Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. Oh. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the soft puppet now. He's in custody, so move your car. Yeah, I don't know. I told what to you say. he'd never just give him up. She got them shook. Fuck it. What? What you about to do? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I know I hit, I know I dodged that shit. What? I just didn't know when to end. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just a Come on, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't right, do that. I'm pounding this button right now. I mean, hey, Don't look, do that. I know it Stop ridiculous, it. Ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> Can you argue with these results? What? What? No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. No, this isn't me. This isn't me. Wait. Please. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The snow. <gasps> don't do this. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. I mean, I don't know. She could just be saying that. I don't know. Nope. Not like your boyfriend. <coughs> well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new, long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Look at his arm! lucky to be alive and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this this is getting worse by the minute we don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move I'll get things under control Woody I'm not gonna tell you again back off dog this doesn't concern you what do you want to talk about I just wanted to um, about last night when people hear what you did to dumb they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? What did I say about... Wait, let me see my choices. Did you, did you kill Tweedledum? You have 44. 0.2% of players killed Tweedledum. Okay. It's kind of half. Almost. Um. Oh. Really? You and 79% of players did not burn the tree. Did you make... Oh, really? this what place did you investigate first oh. In the middle. okay so did you interrupt snow's eulogy decided not to interrupt okay so anyways okay i do not feel like crane is killing these women right i feel like he is just living his fantasy with women that he cannot get whatever um it's still very creepy but i don't think that he's i i did not think i should say i did not think he was the one killing these women also too i had a feeling that big big b is not the scariest guy in town i'm still very confused and very very lost on what is going on this was a very intense episode it had me just it had me on the edge and i did not know what choices to make it was just it, it but from the looks of it my choices were pretty good um i think i might just go ahead and play episode four and upload it in a separate video because it's, it's just too good to not i, I can't wait so um yeah if you guys enjoyed 
this episode or this gameplay, please make sure to leave